Welcome to Quadratics Part 1. Now, quadratics is easily the most important advanced math skill that you need um, if you're on your way to college math or any advanced level math. Um, anything in science, technology, engineering, math, quadratics is sort of the basic building block of all of your advanced math future. Um, quadratics is, first of all, and most importantly, you know you're dealing with a quadratic whenever you see a variable squared. So if you see x squared, t squared, h squared, anytime you see a variable squared and the two is the biggest exponent out there, we have a quadratic. Now we're gonna start with the basics of sort of quadratics with the adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Now this is what you're used to seeing when we have distribution. When we have a number outside of parentheses, we know it's multiplying. That four is being distributed and we are going to be multiplying when we distribute. 8x minus 12. Those don't have the same variable, they aren't like terms, so this problem would be done. That's what we're used to. Now this is what our multiplying will start looking like with quadratics. You're used to only one thing to distribute, just the four. Now there's more than just the four over here. You have two things. I like to think of this as double distribution. So it's gonna be like double distribution. You're gonna take the four, and we're going to totally distribute that like normal, but that X is also going to be distributed to everything. Both items from this first one will be multiplied with the other. Now I see four lines, so I'm gonna need four answers as I'm done multiplying. So I'm gonna follow each line and write down the answer. X times two X is two X squared. X times X when I'm multiplying, how many X's are multiplying? Oh, two, so it's X squared. X minus three is negative three X. And I'm done with the X's now. So now I'm going to the four. Four times two X is eight X. Four times negative three is negative 12. Now we have to ask ourselves, what are like terms down here? I see three options with X, but we have a new way of thinking of like yeah. terms. Like terms have to have both the same variable, but also the same exponent. So I see here negative three X and eight X. They just have good old regular X, but this is the only X squared. So two X squared will come right on down to your answer. Negative three X plus eight X is positive five X. And there's not another regular old number out there. So that number also will come down. And then there we have our final answer. Another way to organize that multiplication, so this is the same problem as last time, is using a nice area model, okay? So I can draw a nice little box like this, and now I'm gonna label each side with one of my parentheses. So here's x and positive four, and here's two x and minus three. Just take each parentheses and put them around the box, and now we're gonna multiply. So to get this box, we're gonna go up x, times 2x is 2x squared, because x times x gives us the x squared. Here, 4 times 2x is 8x. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And now, once again, I need to combine my like terms, where we have to have the same variable and exponent. I only see one x squared item. 8x minus 3x gives us 5x. And I only see one regular number. And we get to the same answer when we just did the double rainbow. Sometimes our math is gonna look like this, where we have more than one variable. I have x's and I have y's. We can still follow the same exact logic. If there's nothing in between those two parentheses, we know we're multiplying. I'm gonna continue using the area model to help organize for now. So I'm gonna take one parentheses, two X, and then scoot over the negative five Y. Then down here, the three X and the positive four Y. Multiplying time. Two X times three X is six X squared, because when I multiplied, there were two X's, so that became X squared. Negative five Y times three X, well, five times the, negative five times three is negative 15. And then when you have different variables like this, you just put them right behind x, y. Both of those were involved, so both of them need to be in the answer. Same thing down here. 2x times 4y is 8. x and y were both involved, so I gotta keep, keep them in there. Finally, negative 5y times 4y is negative 20. And since there were two y's involved, that's y squared. 
Now remember, combining our like terms have to have the same, same variables with the same exponent. There's only one x squared out there. Now both of these have x and y after, after them, so these are like terms. Negative 15xy plus 8xy will be negative 7xy. And there's only one y squared term out here. Now that we're here, none of them have the same variable and exponent anymore, so we are simplified.